Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Spyderco clone versus the, the real thing here. So, um, if you were watching the channel back about a year ago, December of 2018, I bought a Spyderco, actually two, on Wish. And, uh, you know, it was pretty apparent right off the bat when I got it that it was a clone. I expected it to be a clone. I only paid $22 for it plus like $7 in shipping. So, you know, $30 invested in it, and the real thing is about $180. So, you know, you got to know right off the bat that uh, you're not getting the real thing at that price. But uh, I just wanted to see what I would get, and actually it's been a, a pretty decent knife, to be honest. I mean, um, for 30 bucks, yeah, I mean, it's good. But I did want to uh, show you guys the differences. Now, um, I, I actually entered a raffle from Long Island Knife Guy. Here's his uh, sticker. And I actually won his first raffle I've, I've done. So he does a lot of raffles on Instagram. So look him up if you're interested in uh, buying into any of those. But um, the particular one I, I won was this rock cleaver. So gives us the perfect opportunity to, to start looking at some of the, the differences. So we'll start off with the box. Um, obviously, you can see a color difference between the reds on here. Um, this is definitely a, a darker red. One of the other things I noticed on here was inside the, the spider, the mouth there, you can see um, there is a clear difference, the one on the right being the, the real one. And that'll go for the whole video. So every time I'm doing a direct comparison here, it'll be right is real and left is clone. Um, you can see that the, the the mouth is more of a just triangle hash there, whereas this one's a lot more open. Um, you can also see the R is much further away on the clone. Um, I think everything else when I first looked over this was was fairly similar. Just the the coloring is off there. Um, so the other obvious thing, this was my biggest clue that this was a clone, was the fake, or the clone, does not have the um, barcode. So uh, that is never going to happen from Spyderco. You're always going to have the barcode with the model and the model number and everything else on it. So um, inside the box, if we open it up, um, one of the other telltale signs is the foam. So open this guy up, pull that out. Um, so on the real spider codes, the foam is thicker and more dense. On the clones, it's always this chintzy thin crap um, that you can see through. So real foam clone foam here in my left hand. Um, the other thing you'll notice is inside the box you've got these larger tabs at the end, nothing on the sides. On the clone it's large tabs all the way around so yeah there you go. Um, now usually on the real Spydercos the foam is a little bit smaller so you can see um, you do get a gap there if you push this in all the way to one side. Um, on the clones, they make it too big actually, and you know, it, it actually will curve up on the sides here. So, the foam is, is too big for the box. So, that is also very common on the clones. Um, another thing is um, a lot of spider codes will give you these customer uh, papers here, and it's really hard to tell on these, but sometimes there's obvious spelling errors, and I haven't really looked through this one a lot, but I mean, you can see there's no space between tin and blade and, um, you yeah, know, there's, I'm sure there's a bunch of other typos in here. Usually that's, um, that's what you'll find. Um, on, on the real one, um, I didn't actually get one of these, pa these customer papers. It's just a product catalog here showing, uh, everything about the, the rock cleaver. So, uh, totally, totally different there. So another big indicator that uh, this one from Wish 
is not the real deal. All right, so we're gonna put that back together and we will look here on the back. I don't know, I haven't looked yet to see if there's anything different back here. Um, I think, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty similar. You can see the R is much bigger than the R on the logo for the, the real one. So this is the left, again, is the, the fake one. You can see the, uh, the, the words or the letters are, are bolder on the, on the fake. And, uh, you know, there's more spacing here. So you can see this, this takes up more space than this. And, uh, yeah. So when you have them side by side, you can see the difference is pretty obvious. Um, you can also see the, the boulder type there versus there. It's, it's a little harder if you just have the one. <laughs> if, if you only had the fake, it'd be a lot harder to, to figure out. Um, and then, obviously, this one says printed in China. The real one does not. Everything else says the same. I actually think that both of these boxes are likely produced in China, but uh, this one actually says it was printed in China, which is probably where... The rest of the knife came as well. So those seem to be um, the big things. Uh, whoops, switch these around. <laughs> um, so those seem to be the big things. You can also see here, you know, the fake one has the bolder type on there as well. So everything, everything is bolder. <laughs> okay, so that's enough on the boxes. So we will set those up there. Okay, now we're, we'll go into the knives. And one of the obvious differences here is you have a more polished finish on this one and a duller finish on this one. Um, pretty, pretty uh, obvious right off the bat. Another thing is the, uh, the logos. The one on the fake one, clone, is way, way lighter than the one on the, the real one. Um, the texture on the handle scales, on these G10 handle scales, um, very uh, aggressive on the on the spider coat. So you know, if you push your finger across, you can kind of hear that. And it'll it'll tear off the skin and leave some some skin abrasions on there. On this one, you can't really do that. <laughs> it's it, it's way smoother, um, much less aggressive. The pattern on here, you can see, is, is, is a lot closer together than on the, the clone. So much larger um, texture on this one, much finer on the, on the real one. So again, left is fake, right is real. All right, so there you go. Got the, the texture differences. Um, one of the other things here is you can see the pivot. Pivot actually is... Um, a little bit above the, the G10 there. This one kind of nestles down in and is more flush. So set that side by side there so you can see. This one's more flush, this is the fake. The one on the bottom here is the real, and it sets above. So let's see what else we can find here. Um, so for the lanyard hole, you actually have a tube in there on the real one. On the fake one, you have the same lanyard hole, but no tube. So that is another very obvious difference. Um, the screw for the pocket clip, um, if you were to put it on this side or either side, I guess, they're both the same, but um, you can see it's much larger on the fake, much smaller on the real. You can also see the difference in the, um, the size of that lanyard hole there, much bigger on the fake one much smaller on the real guy. Okay, moving along, flip it over here, and you can see some obvious differences there with the uh, pocket clip. I mean, it's it's close, but uh, the style is right, but you can see this one has a much smaller dip, this one has a much larger dip, goes way longer, so another pretty obvious difference between the real and the clone. It's probably easier to see it that way. 
So again, left hand here is fake. This one is real in the right hand. So there's that. Um, another thing is the, uh, <laughs> the 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 size of the font again. So you can see uh, this one, uh, the real one is bolder and smaller, um, and this one is larger and uh, you know the the less bold on the on the font. You can also see that the um, VG10 in Japan is uh, imprinted inside the metal on the real one. On the fake one, it's not even on the side. You actually have to flip it over. There it is. So they they left off Japan. They got Spyderco VG10, but uh, you know it's laser etched on there and completely wrong type and everything. So um, that is very different. So again, this one here is the real, and this one is the, the fake on top. So um, the jimping is way different. So it's much larger on the, uh, on the fake one and much more close together and finer on the real one. You can see uh, it doesn't go that deep into the steel. On this one, it goes a lot deeper. So another pretty obvious difference there. Um, let's, uh, let's open these guys up. So we'll do a quick comparison between the blades. So Spidey Hole is much bigger on the fake one and much smaller on the real one. So, I mean, I can almost stick, well, I can stick my finger in there so it pokes out the other side. This one, not really, this is my fingernail. So, there you go. Um, also, you can see they didn't really do a lot of polishing inside here. It's pretty crappy inside the spidey hole on this one. They've done a lot of machine work to make that nice and polished and nice. So. Just uh, a fit and finish issue there. You can see this wedge here out, out at the end is much bigger on the fake one than it is on the, the real one. So there's that. Um, on the real one, you can see how nice and even that bevel is. Hopefully you can see that, but it's beautiful. On this one, um, it's pretty good, but um, you can start to see some minor imperfections, especially out at the ends. Um, you can see it right out there at the tip there. Um, don't really see that here. So that's very, very minor. I mean, there's plenty of obvious differences here that, that uh, stick out like a sore thumb. Um, let's see, uh, another thing is they've beveled the edges of the G10 on these handles. So they're rounded off on the, on the edges. On the real one, um, not so much. They're, it's a much sharper edge on there, if you can see that. See how this one's kind of rounded, and this one is not. Um, let's see, what else can we find here? Well, you can see this piece is much smaller than that piece, right? That, that part of the, the liner. Um, I'm not sure if, yeah, this one has some skeletonization in it. This one does not. So no skeletonization in that liner. You can see those holes down there at the bottom, uh, or I guess really it's at the top of the spine there. So that is another big difference. So skeletonization on the real, not on the fake. Um, let's see, what else can we find here? Well, you can see completely different Torx bit. You, so this, the fake one uses a much smaller bit than the real one for the pivot. So, yep. <laughs> That's another pretty obvious difference. Um, you can see the, the liner lock um, is more sculpted. It has this swedge taken out on the, on the real one. On the fake one, it's uh, it's just a short piece of metal. There's no there's no cut out there, so you can see that cut out there. This is real. This one's fake. So, 
All right, guys. I mean, that's about all I can see on these. Um, you know, like I said, fully expected getting a, a fake one when I got one from Wish, but it actually is, it, it, it comes sharp and um, it has been a pretty decent knife. I, I doubt this is VG10 on here. It's probably 440C would be my guess, but um, don't know, haven't tested it. So uh, anyways, just thought that'd be helpful for some of you guys if you've uh, bought a, <laughs> a rock cleaver from a, a, a less than reputable source and you're interested to know if you have a real one, there's a lot of differences there that you can start to look at and see if you've, uh, if you've got a clone. So anyways, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.